If you are new to the channel, then subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification. Okay, student, welcome you all to this new lecture in advanced level where you are solving previous year IIT JE questions on continuity. So, in this lecture, we will be solving question number 1, 2, and 3. Okay, then let's solve these three questions. Okay, in continuity, the first question is the function fx is box x square, box of x square. This is box x whole square, this is box of x square, where box is x is in greatest integer function you know this one is discontinuous at so they are giving some option at all integers at integers except 0 1 0 1 so you have to check at 0 1 whether it is continuous or not then you can eliminate some option and you can give the answer so if you start with checking at 0 so what you will do you will left hand limit right hand limit so for box you can without using 0 also you can assume if it is 0 plus what it will be it will be 0 minus what it will be because uh, in the options you have to just tick the answer no need to write it in every in that grammatical way that limit h tends to 0 0 plus h 0 minus h that is for your board exam so if you if you apply your rhl that is 0 plus so if i apply 0 plus 0 plus here so 0 plus a box 0 plus will give you 0 something 0 0.0001 so it will give you 0 and 0 plus square 0 0.0001 will give you 0 0.0001 whole square and then box if you take that will give you also 0 so your answer is 0 now if you go for 0 minus, 0 minus, that means you are giving negative minus point uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. So what below it will give? It will give you minus 1. So minus 1 whole square is plus 1 because you are, you are giving some value here. Some value be less than 0. So less than 0 if you give, it will come to minus 1, greatest integer. So it will be minus 1. And here 0 minus, if you minus point zero 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 one whole square you take it will be positive if you landing here so box will be here zero so it is so you can see obviously left and right hand is not equal so it is not continuous at zero so therefore they are saying it is discontinuous at all integer except zero they are saying here and here that that is at zero it is continuous discontinuous except here that means at this point they are continuous so obviously b and c is gone now you check at one 1 plus again 1 plus whole square and then 1 plus square box 1 plus that means you are now here in 1 so 1 plus means you are giving something greater than 1 so your greatest integer will come to 1 1 plus 1.001 if you take square it will be here only so box of that one will be also 1 1 now if you go 1 minus 1 minus that is 0.99999 if you put this one so it will land at 0 ok so that's why it is 0 now if you go 1 minus then it is square that is 0.999 whole square so it will be here only square of this one so here of this only will be less than one it will be then it will come to zero so zero minus zero zero at one if you put at one one square so box one is one box one square is one so zero so at one it is continuous so therefore at one it is continuous therefore option a is wrong all integers it is not continuous it is discontinuous at all integers except one because at one it is same you can check with two two it will find you will find it is discontinuous because here two square will give you four here it one square was giving one so the answer was one but if you put two stop two plus square then it will be 2.001 if you square it it will be 4.0001 so from there four will come and two plus will give you two so there will be difference it will not be same that case so that's why it is option d now if you come to the second one determine the constant abc for which this function should be continuous at x equal to 0 again what i will do lhl so if you put lhl 0 minus so if you come you will come here so if you put 0 minus here you can see 1 to the power infinity format so 1 to the power infinity format we have already learned how to solve this one e to the power limit x tends to 0 minus you can put there is no need actually 0 minus that is minus h or you directly try with 0 that will be give you okay left hand limit means you will calculate from here so you can use h or no need because you have seen it is already in standard format e to the power power into base minus 1 so x is already gone either you put h or 0 whatever it will be ultimately e to the power a because x will be cancelling out so it is lhl now if you come to rhl 0 plus will come here so if it is coming here if you put 0 now it is c plus 1 something divided by 0 which is infinite but it should be finite because they are saying it should be continuous so to have to have it is finite it should be 0 by 0 format then only you can proceed because this is already giving you a limit as an answer this is not undefined you cannot say that limit is i don't know limit yes you know limit here this limit is infinity which is limit does not exist to have limit exist you need to have it 0 by 0 format then only you can proceed either a l'hopital rule because it is undetermined format you can apply a l'hopital rule then you can proceed to calculate limit further otherwise you have to stop here and you have to say it is dna does not exist 
so that means it has to be zero that means c has to be one if c is one then it is zero by zero format then only you can proceed by using l orbital rule so one thing you got that means the value of c is one so once c is one then this becomes x plus one to the power one by three minus one divided by x plus one by two minus one now you put it is zero by zero so while solving here i have used binomial expansion but no need you can apply that l orbital rule zero by zero you can take differentiation it will be one by three one plus x to the power one by three minus one half 1 by x to the power half minus 1. Then you put 0, so it will be 1 to the power something 0 0, 1 1, so it will be 2 by 3. So you will directly get this answer. No need to apply that binomial. You will get it. So therefore, left hand and right hand should be this was left hand, this was right hand, they should be equal, and that should be equal to the value of the function at at x equal to 0, it is b. So LHL, RHL, and at x f0 should be same. So all three should be equal. From here, b is 2 by 3, c you have already gone, get, get it. So e to the power a is this one, so a is equal to you take log, then e will can cancel out. So log e to the power log 2 by 3 to the base e. So that is your answer. Now if you come to question number 5, discuss the continuity of this function at x equal to 1. Again, you will do LHL RHL. So here also, if you go by LHL RHL, because in both this LHL RHL you will be using same function. So here you have to be little careful because they are asking discuss the continuity it is not continuous if it is continuous then it becomes easy because we know continuous then there is no need to go by that h format you can directly apply lhl rhl but if you want to check continuity and you are using same function for lhl rhl then you have to be little careful then it's better you go by h so limit h tends to 0 it will be 1 minus h because you are doing left hand side so instead of x you will be putting 1 minus h so it will come something of this fashion now if you put 0 what will be happening? e to the power minus infinity. What is e to the power minus infinity? e to the power minus infinity is 1 by infinity, that is 0. So that's why it will become 0, so it becomes easy, minus 2 by 2, minus 1. Now if you come to RHL, it will be 1 plus h, it will be of this fashion. Now if you put infinity, it is e to the power infinity. e to the power infinity is infinity. So infinity by infinity is undefined. So how to do this one if you have this type of fashion? So you always try to make it something divided by infinity, so that it becomes 0 for us. So that's why if you divide by e to the power 1 by s denominator and denominator, so then what will happen? Then you are dividing by infinity. So now if you put 0, it is infinite, 1 by 0 infinite, e to the power infinity infinity. So something finite divided by infinity is always 0. So it will become 1 by 1. So you can say LHL, RHL is not equal. F1 is given 1, but LHL and RHL are not equal. So that's why it is not continuous. You can say it, it is right continuity because your right side is continuous. You can say LHL. RHL is equal to f of 1. You remember left right continuity? So it is left continuous, but overall it is not continuous. If you like the video, then press the like button and please give your valuable comments in the comment section.